So we just finished the rear mount radiator. Got all the brackets set up for that. I'm gonna wait for Chris to get here to find out how exactly he wants me to attach the back of the radiator to the mount for it. We are going to move to the front of the car now and put on the fenders, the hood, and the bumper so I can get measurements on where all of my tubing needs to go. That way everything fits proper. So it's gonna be a task this afternoon. But we will be able to get started on the front now that we are done with the rear. I'm still planning on getting this done by Monday. Okay, so after looking at it for another couple minutes, um, it's about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch off from where the fender actually sits to the top of the hood because the supercharger hits it. So instead of cutting into his nice sweet hood, uh, I'm building the front end off the car. I'm just gonna make everything a quarter inch higher. So everything's gonna sit up perfectly level with it. So when you're building a tube chassis front end, if you're fitment on your over fenders or your wide body kit doesn't actually fit proper, you can make those adjustments when you're doing a tube chassis front end to fit the mold of the car and make all of your lines even and everything. So it's kind of a nice convenient thing to do uh, when dealing with this type of stuff. Aftermarket products don't always fit, you know, like if you get a hood from one company, it's not gonna fit the fenders of another. Being able to build the tube chassis front on this, we can make, you know, two different styles fit uh, the car and have a nice sleek fit and finish on it. So. We're gonna make it look nice. So last night while Loxley wasn't here, we installed this front bar for the support for the oil cooler and the trans cooler and also to give it a little bit more rigidness in the front of the frame. Can't show you the uh, oil coolers because uh, they aren't here yet. The technical specs got sent to me so I was able to make my own uh, brackets for it and draw all the holes. Uh, who is it? Um, grassroots, right? Shit, got that. I don't know if we're supposed to announce that. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, but they sent me all the technical specs have been very helpful with um, where the bracket location should be and where the mounting uh, point should be for the bracket. So right now we are working on the front because I need um, Kyle to come in and weld the aluminum brackets on the rear mount radiator for me to finish up the rear end. So while I'm waiting for that, we are over here fitting the tube chassis front end. As you can see, we got three points of contact on here. It hits the frame, ties in nice and tight right there and it's perfectly squared down the frame. So I'm gonna make another one of these and uh, go from there. We're gonna finish up the front today and start on the bash bar hopefully this afternoon. Point from here to the top of the 90, how far up does it go? Do we have one to check the clearance? Clarence? 10 a.m. 90? Because I can go shorter. If I go shorter, that gets you way the out of your way. You know what I mean? Like, I can get the down to here if you want. I just got to cut more off of it. Yeah, if I'm lower, yeah, just straight across. Boom, boom. Yeah. Wham, bam, thank you. Bam! I just didn't want to go eh, in front of it. As long as up here isn't going to be flimsy. That's my only concern with what? putting this bar so low. What flimsy? Everywhere where the hood's mounted and stuff like do that. Do you want the bar in front of these. What I'm trying to do is keep it away from the lights. Like I got, if it was under the lights, it'd be Titty McGee. But that's where usually your bash bar is gonna go. I look like lots of ones and zeros. That's hot. Alexa, you sexy. <laughs> Damn. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Or the eye of the beer holder. Damn. Just saying. A lot of ones and zeros. 
Sound like she got a slim yeah. waist in the fat Sounds ass. Sounds like she's rich as shit. <laughs> Yo, Alexa, I'm gonna marry you one day. She didn't say no. So we did the tube chassis for it, bringing the bars down. <laughs> Uh, we did a 45 down to the crossbar that I did across the front. Yesterday we did the plate for the oil cooler and the trans cooler. Both of that all in. Did the crossbar across the top so we can actually put our plates in to hold the tops of them. Got that all finished, welded in, so everything's good here. We're gonna work on the fenders tomorrow, the front bumper, hang the lights, try to get everything set up so I can um, set my posts off, do the hood latches, uh, and get everything tied up here and then eventually work on the dash bar this weekend. I also did some stuff in the back for the radiator, but I wanted to answer a question for one of our guys. Uh, it was Spence something. What was his name? I wanted to answer a question from Action Spence from Instagram. I use a, uh, let's see, Hypertherm 30, which has a self-enclosed um, compressor. Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, a self-enclosed compressor to it, so you actually just need uh, either a 110 plug or a 220 plug. No compressor needed for it. It's very convenient. It has a so shoulder strap, so you can throw it on your shoulder and walk anywhere you want to with it. It comes with a guard. Uh, if you're just learning how to do it, I would say use the guard for it. But if you cut a lot of stuff, I don't use the guard. It just kind of gets in the way. It takes away from the measurement. There's actually uh, just three sixteenths of a difference between here and here. So when you're making plates, it's actually really nice because you have to grind off a little bit of the slag. So if you take a, something, um, you know, your guide for it, you can go right around the guide and actually what you grind off to make it nice and flush is perfect for the fit. So the Hypertherm 30 with the air already connected to it is a freaking sweet machine. Definitely recommend it. Maybe get the one with the CNC button on it because uh, I want a CNC plasma cutter and I have to buy a brand new Hypertherm because I didn't opt for the extra 200 bucks. So uh, leave a comment, let us know what you like about the car, the build so far, the parts we're using. And uh, if you have any ideas for us, let us know. We're always open for uh, ideas. Drink too much.